Hey Sash, welcome back. So here we're about to do a general reading. This may or it may not resonate with everyone. Just take it how it applies to you if it does. All right, let's start with you first. You've got the Emperor, the Five of Swords, as well as the Hangman. And what's grounding you is the Fool card. Um, I think it's two groups, okay? Because some of you, you've definitely shut down on this person. Yep, I don't see you talking. I don't see you putting much energy or effort into this. Um, maybe you guys broke up, you know, maybe you're single now with this emperor and you're focusing on your career or your business if you have one or you want a new energy to come in, you know, so some of you are done with this person or done with the past, all right, because you feel like they wronged you, okay, or they played you, they betrayed you, they did something here that made you start looking at them in a different light, okay, so whatever it was that you came to realize about this person, it made you feel like you needed to move on or again, take a step back from them. Others of you, you do still care. Okay. I feel like you might actually be open to, you know, moving things forward with this person or you guys are, you know, still together because everyone who watches tarot is not broken up with their person. So some of you may still be um, dealing with this person, but I still feel like there's an element of you not trusting them though. Okay. With this five of swords or you do question if you should actually um, invest in this connection, okay? Even though there may be some love here. Now, they've got the Strength card, the Magician, as well as the Six of Wands, and what's guiding them is the Three of Swords. This person's uh, feelings are hurt, though. Yep, I feel like it's because you started to shut down or they feel like um, you don't care like you used to, okay? Because I do see a lot of detachment here on your side, so... I feel like this person um, feels like you're like slipping away from them, okay? And it bothers them, all right? This person does have love for you because um, you're not gonna you're not gonna feel hurt or or bothered by someone that you don't have feelings for, okay? So there are you know um, feelings that they have, but I feel like um, some of you, you may see them as being manipulative or user or something here with this magician, but I also see this as them wanting to still get a victory in this situation okay with that six of wands and they miss your attention too okay so yeah i feel like they want things to go their way or they want things to go back to how they used to be okay now i also feel like they are trying to respect your space too though okay sag especially for those of you that had to let this person know that you didn't like or you didn't appreciate what they were doing or how they were acting they are trying to um respect your boundaries okay but what they really want is for the two of you to get back on the same page here okay spirit please clarify the um emperor the five of swords and the hangman for sag i feel like for some of you they caused this pain though yep um meaning that they they did something that hurt you or bothered you here and now because you are you're hip to their you know their bullshit or their behavior now it's bothering them because you don't want to deal with them okay or they feel like they're losing you spirit please clarify the sh um sorry Okay, so we had the Eight of Cups just fly out. Yeah, somebody walked away. Yep, either you or them. It looks like there's a big disconnect between you and this person. Spirit, clarify the Emperor, the Five of Swords, as well as the um, Hangman for Sag here. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Yep, Gemini also see um, Leo here, Pisces, or Aries. Clarify the Emperor, the Five of Swords, and the Hangman. So you've got the five of swords again. I feel like some of you, you're just in this energy of doing what's best for yourself. You know, maybe you really did care about them at one point, but after they played you or you saw them for who they really and truly are, it's like, shit, I need to do what's best for me. And that may mean that I need to leave you alone. You know, so some of you are backing off of this uh, situation. You've also got the nine of pentacles and the lovers. Okay. Um, yeah, some of you are single. Yep, you're just doing your own thing. I feel like this still kind of bothers you, though, a little bit, that this person did what they did or things didn't work out. But I don't feel like you're letting it get you down, okay? Some of you are very focused on your money, too, or your career, your business. Others of you, there could be a new person coming in, you know, with this lovers, or this is how you still feel about them, okay? There's still a strong connection here. Or some of you may actually feel like it's been hard to, you know, break free from this situation, okay? because there's so much passion or attraction or chemistry here spirit please clarify the um strength card the magician as well as the um six of wands for sagis person here clarify the strength card the magician and the six of wands all right so they've got the queen of cups this person does love you though yeah they do have feelings for you could be a scorpio cancer or pisces okay 
but yeah i feel like they're trying to it's like they're holding back they're not really telling you how they feel okay or, or speaking up about their emotions here and they still want this okay with this king of wands here and the queen of swords okay so i see communication yep some of you you're still talking to them or they want to talk to you okay i feel like this person has up a front though okay because the king, queen of swords she can be kind of cold you know emotionally unavailable or detached but underneath all of that is this queen of cups and the king of wands okay and then some of you these are other options this may not be a past person for everyone this could be other people who are interested in you, okay, who see you as someone who's very attractive, or like you've got your shit together here, okay, Sag, so, yeah, this looks pretty good, um, at least on your side, for the most part, minus this, you know, five of swords came, uh, coming out twice, because some of you, you did get hurt in this situation, but I feel like you're, you're moving forward, okay, but yeah, whoever this person is, or these people are, there's a lot of desire or attraction, love, sexual energy, something here that they, um, they feel towards you, okay, and they want your attention, okay? Like I said at the beginning. So let's pull some more um, messages for, for their um, for their side. Here, show me some more messages for Sag's person and then we'll pull your advice messages. Show me some more messages for Sag's person here. Some of you, because I'm also seeing where they really do want your attention. They may have even thought about reaching out, but they may see you actually as the queen of swords, okay? So they may feel like, they're going to be met with some resistance here, okay, or that you're not going to want to hear what they have to say, or that you're going to like cut them out or ignore them, okay? Spirit, show me some more messages for this person. All right, so they've got combative, and it says arguing, disagreements, harsh words, fault finding, proving points, aggressive and angry. So, to be honest, I don't see you guys really in this energy right now with this person, okay? This could just represent that they're kind of bitter, okay? That's what I'm picking up here. So maybe they're not trying to, you know, fight or argue with you, but there could be some bitterness or, or jealousy here, actually, that they feel about you for some reason, okay? They've also got torn, and it says, um, I don't know which way to go with this connection. Half of me is still holding on because I love you, but the other half of me feels like I should leave you alone, okay? So yeah, some of you... They're a little bit stuck here. It's like they still want this, but at the same time, they may feel like they need to move on because you're not really opening up to them, okay? Um, they've also got rejection that says, sometimes I wonder if I'm enough for you or if you even want me at all, all right? So that's that. Now let's pull your advice messages. Spirit, show me three advice messages that you have for Sag. These may pertain to them, okay? Or they may just be general, you know, um, advice messages that Spirit wants to say. Just take them if they fit. All right, Spirit, show me three advice messages that you want to say to Sag today. All right, so you have surrendered the idea you can fix someone. It says it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Okay, you've also got surrender your ego and it says cultivate gratitude, be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. All right, and one more. You've also got surrender stress, and it says, take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let go of the stress as you come back to your center, okay? So that's what came out, Sag. If any of this resonated, feel free to like and subscribe, okay? I appreciate you guys tuning in. Wish you the best. Take care.